from Evanston. The following program is paid for by the Charlie Butler team. Looking for tips on selling your home? Tune in to the Charlie Butler Show right here on WGBF AM every Sunday at 9 a.m. The Charlie Butler Show where your questions get answers. Charlie guarantees it. Good Sunday morning, Tri-State. This is the Charlie Butler Real Estate Show. Today, I am, Jordan and I are the roses among the thorns. Yeah. And wow. That, <laughs> that escalated was, quick. Well, yeah, I told it really you it's going to be yeah. a little different today. I know, huh? yeah, I yeah. know. That's so, what we get when Charlie says, we're yeah. going to go random. I mean, yeah. are Mindy and I the thorns? I don't know. <laughs> I can be kind of sometimes. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, there are times your thorns are. Not me. <laughs> no, I'm oh. a delicate little flower at yeah, all yeah, times. Let, let me, let, won't you straighten your halo there? It's a, just a hair crooked, okay? Mm-hmm. My no. tiara is perfect. I don't yeah. know about y'all. Okay. <laughs> a delicate so, little flower. Mm-hmm. So the AKA thorns is my is, is my, my <laughs> co-host who is the president of Butler DeArmond Real Estate Group that you know, is the owner of the Charlie Butler team is Candace DeArmond. Well, good morning, good, Charlie. Good morning, Candace. How are you this I'm morning? I'm doing okay. You, you sweet rose, you. <laughs> <laughs> and Jordan. You're sitting in David Crow's chair today. I sure am. Yep. So mm-hmm. that, I, I'm just a beacon of knowledge. I was going to say. I, 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 was I say, had to pick on him again. So is that, yeah. yeah, David is still with his fence. Mm-hmm. You know, so I don't know what David is doing with his fence. But it's a big fence. It's a big fence. Yeah, yeah David. Yeah. You know, <laughs> And I saw on Facebook, David's son just graduated from high school. I did see that, yeah. 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 And I think he I think he got a football scholarship, I think. I, I think he is a really good football player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forget. I think he's an all-around good athlete. Yeah, I think I think, I, I think so, favorite. too. Yeah. 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 But, of course, David is one of our fine sponsors, uh, and as is Churchill Mortgage, David's company. Be sure to call David for your mortgage needs. He'll, he'll get you pre-approved, and... If he, if he can't, he'll tell you what steps you need to take to get pre-approved. And David's number is 270-222-0676. And David Crow at Churchill Mortgage. He can help you in Kentucky or Indiana. Also with us today is Mindy Woodward. We normally say foreclosure expert, but she's becoming an all-around ex- ex- jack of all trades. Relocation, yeah. Kentucky residential, doing open houses Exorc- for builders, doing open houses for builders. Yes, exercise science, uh, exercise science, yeah. Uh, yeah. specialization in tripods and photography. You know, <laughs> all kinds of things. Yeah. So, I, I saw a thing on on uh, line yesterday. Do you guys know? Do they still make shaker weights? They actually do still make them. I have no idea. I, yeah. I don't know yeah. if they. I, they, I think they, they actually do. do. Yeah. Did you guys have them? My grandma had one because I told you guys. <laughs> I remembered my dad telling me to put it down. Well, I thought it, you. Were, so, I thought you were in the store doing that. Well, I knew I was somewhere with it, but my grandma had one of those and one of those wand back things. <laughs> oh, like that weird back massager wand yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. You know, back massage it was <laughs> <laughs> i know it was <laughs> well you told some stories about your grandma yeah. oh no no mm-mm. i don't know if there's many that are safe for on air <laughs> no i know i'm not saying we're gonna go on air with okay those. okay no okay. i'm just yeah. yeah your grandma was what's to say a character is that, oh, is that fair to say? both of my grandmas were pretty. Yeah, they, yeah, they were very colorful people. Candace so. has got some great stories that we can't tell on the air. About. Yeah, yeah, I do. I have uh, a lot of not air friendly stories. <laughs> yeah. Mindy, did you have a shaker weight? I did not have a shaker weight. I remember them, but I did not personally own one. <laughs> Are you doing anything to strengthen your biceps right now? Um, not <laughs> that. <laughs> I have been working out at the gym about four days a week, so. I see that, and you have, I remember a few years ago, Mindy and I go to a, a One Thing class in uh, Bloomington, Illinois. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And the instructor was talking about, you know, get one, you know, do one thing, and Mindy's thing then was a gym. Right. It's always been a thing for me, like, <clears throat> I go to the gym, and then I stop, and then I go, and then I stop, and I've never been consistent with it. And this last year, I went and had a mammogram, and they found some precancerous cells. And then I found out, you know, I had to go through radiation. I had several surgeries. um, And then I had to have a hysterectomy. So in all of that, I was like, hey, maybe I really should take a look at my health 
and how I, you know, right. like, let me get back to the gym and really make that commitment. So I believe it was in November when my doctor said, yeah, go ahead. That I said, okay, I'm going to make a personal commitment to go three days a week. So I started doing that. I started like leveling up on like different machines. And now I'm doing four days a week because I'm figuring out like, I don't feel real good when I'm not at the gym. I tried to do five and that was a little much. So I'm going to like up it to four. And now I'm trying the stair climber. So I'm doing it like five minutes and then six. And then I'm just going to like up it a minute at a time. But man, I feel so much better. That's great. About it. Yeah. That's great. So, but that was just like my own personal journey. You know, I had to to come to that. So. That's great. Candace, how many days a week are you going to the gym? Oh, God. <clears throat> Never. <laughs> I hate this. She said Stairmaster, and it took all I could not to say all that devil machine. It Ugh. Is, hey, it's, it is absolutely Ugh. evil. It is terrible. And is I cannot really? stand it. It's awful. But the benefit of it is like, it's ridiculous. And another thing that helps me is I'm starting to see the same people at the gym. Like there's a couple that's probably in their 70s, and they're in there just doing their treadmill and there's you know different guys that i see there is a very cute human there with his little tattooed arm but you know it's just like it's nice seeing the same people every day when you go in there it's kind of an extra incentive for me because it's like well if this lady's on here killing it what's my excuse yeah so you you get you let out a sigh when mindy started talking about the stairmaster have you had a bad experience with the stairmaster i just tried to I, i have tried to go to the gym I have thought I needed to go because it's what people do. It's healthy, whatever. <laughs> but the stairmaster m- machine sucks. It's, uh, it's terrible. It's it's torture. It, it is awful. It's a great great exercise, but it's torture. It is torture. <laughs> it is torture. I did a level three for six minutes, and I was like, <gasps> "Oh my god, this is awful." It's horrible. It's just terrible. Hor- and then you'll watch I, people do it for an hour, and you're like, "Yeah, what Greek god are you?" Right. <laughs> and, and why are you doing that to your body? That is just cruel. <laughs> No, I am. Mm-mm. See, I, Charlie I gets his workouts during the episode with the treadmill behind us. That's right? right. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Charlie, mm-hmm. when when you hear Charlie, he may be out of breath a little bit, but that's because he's walking on his treadmill that's during right. the show. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, I've got a, I've got a headset, but and Ladon brought that was nice enough to get that uh, treadmill for me. Yeah, yeah. What happened to the Charlie Butler team coffee cups? Yeah, they're, they're right here. <laughs> they're, well, they're, they're still here. There used to be a bunch of them here. Well, you've had guests that have taken them. Pilfers. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that I have one, and it's one of Mason's very favorite coffee mugs at home. Is the logo is already washed off of it. You know, worn would you like another it. one? I, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I keep he one on my not. desk, and I've used it so much that the the logo's coming. Would off you like of another one, Mindy? No. Okay. <laughs> I have tried to give me like three. <laughs> I, me too. I, I every time I go someplace, that's what I do is I get Mason a coffee mug because I don't drink coffee anymore. Because that's my new health nut thing. <laughs> I will do a lot, but I will never stop drinking coffee. Unless oh. they come to me and say, if you don't, you're going to die. Other than that, coffee every day. I'm sure drinking <laughs> coffee would be much healthier than and working out than not working out and not drinking coffee. But, you know, I'm just a health nut. <laughs> so. You know, speaking of the gym, it can also be a good place for business, too. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and Just like the grocery store. Exactly. Thank you. Jordan, you know what? <laughs> we didn't talk about the engagement ring. Um, did you have a, an album over there you wanted to look over with Charlie? Huh, bud? Very good, yeah. Jordan. Uh-huh. Busted. Yeah, really good, Jordan. We'll talk about the uh, grocery store after we talk about Jordan's upcoming engagement. Uh, Did you say rose petals were going to be? <laughs> I thought, I thought, I thought so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, so I was, just, I was saying, look, uh, Trevor Meese, who was supposed to be on today, but Trevor is off somewhere. You know, he probably got lost. Yeah, he's last. He, he texted me. He's in Chandler. Why? I, you know, I don't know, but he's in Chandler. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. So anyway. Trevor goes to gym, I think, every day. Or it pretty, seems I mean, like pretty I, regular. He's very yeah. consistent. Pretty, yeah, pretty consistent. much. Yeah. And, and he uh, has for a, a while. Yeah. yeah. But it's he's got a lot of business from the gym. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's got, you know, he's picked up several buyers and sellers from the gym, mm-hmm. you know. And, and a girlfriend. And a, and a girlfriend, yeah. yeah. So um, quick question kind of to tie this back into realty and everything. Have y'all ever seen really cool home gyms? In any of the houses? Oh, yeah. That you yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, we were in one really yesterday. Cool. Yeah, we were. Yeah. yeah. And like how, how some... big of like the home gym is it? Like, Because when I think home gyms, I think of like MTV Cribs and you're seeing the celebrities home gyms and stuff like that. Well, not exactly that, but I've seen some that were pretty elaborate. I mean, yesterday, the one we were in yes, was pretty yeah, elaborate. We were, but... we were in a big house on the west side yesterday and it was... I mean, it, it was it's, it's a big mm-hmm. room and a lot of different equipment in it. I sold a house that had a, she did some sort of, um, I don't know what it's called, but it, this thing hung from the ceiling and she spun <laughs> and it wasn't pole dancing. It was, was like, like is that a pole? Of, it wasn't that. It was like a loop. What the swing, swing was it? Well, kind of. But she was said it, it was swing? an art. <laughs> Yeah, R to right. There we go. Well, like never at mind. The, at the playground where they have like the wheel that spins and like kids hold on to it and yeah. fly around. That's what I'm thinking of. It was like this. Um, My mind went a different direction. Uh, it was well, like I'm it hung Charlie. and then had like this rounded like, I don't know, like a swing almost, but not. And somehow <laughs> what she did, I don't know now. I'm saying it out loud and I don't know what this lady did. Just for. watch Candace. Looks yeah. Your radio and- <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm completely now. I don't know. Never mind. It wasn't a home gym. <laughs> I don't know what that place was. Oh, but, oh my! But I love your I love your body language while you were doing. It. Yeah, that was that, that was impressive. Well, yeah. I was hoping one of you guys would tell me what the word was that I was not on for. the air. No, yeah, <laughs> that's not the thing we can talk about right now. Yeah, I, I thought it was some sort of dancing art i don't know now i'm second guessing it, it is an art form it is yeah it yeah is an art okay form. it is now, can't agree yeah. with that. now there are true yeah and mm-hmm. also you said it wasn't a pole, but you know, there are people that pole dance yeah you know mm-hmm. it's supposed to be very healthy uh, yeah it's supposed to be a really good workout i would end up with a concussion and a broken tooth <laughs> i'm just not very coordinated so uh, yeah so yeah so the rumors that you were once a stripper is also those are not the rumors. Okay. The Hooters rumor is the rumor, oh, and now I'm you're Charlie. taking it to a whole nother level. <laughs> Charlie, and I, that's the rumor I've heard about you. No, hold yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, Charlie. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I've heard, I've heard about your '70s experience. Sorry, right? she used to be known as Candy. You know, it's a <laughs> I shouldn't sit in this seat because it's close enough for me to knock Charlie out of his. <laughs> You're safe, Jordan. <laughs> you, want a, you want a mouse to throw at him? <laughs> I want something. I'd throw my water, but then I wouldn't have any water. <laughs> what no. are some really cool things that y'all have seen in houses, though, that are very unique to them and you haven't seen them in other houses, especially in this area? Oh, I went into a house once that had a, it was like an indoor rock like you stepped down into the living room, like two steps, and it was like an indoor, like koi pond rock garden. Yeah. What? And like yeah. in, the, in the entrance to the house Inside. right Inside. It was like something that, it almost looked like something you'd seen a mall or something, only it was in the middle of the living room of this house. It had skylights and yeah. Talk mm-hmm. about unique. My it, that was, that was yeah. a little different. Yeah. That yeah. Was, now, have you seen those videos of people who have those like massive million gallon tanks in the oh, house yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah those look awesome yeah if only oh, i yeah. could afford that because those even a normal fish tank is an expensive hobby to under- undertake oh, oh yeah. Very much yeah. So, yeah 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 my no. stepdad had a an entire wall of our house whenever i was growing up was a saltwater fish tank and oh yeah, yeah yeah it was a whenever my friends and i would go back to my house maybe we were home a little too late. I don't know. We didn't want to talk to parents, whatever happened. But I was like, listen, there's a real cool fish tank to your right. Walk right past it. Don't say a word because he'll start explaining. I can't talk to my mom right now. It was a whole thing. And then they'd start, they'd be like, oh, it's Nemo. I'm like, I told you, you're not supposed to talk. And because they were slurring their words probably. A little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, a little okay. bit. Yeah, yeah. All right, what so. about what about you, Charlie or Mindy? Y'all got any cool Mindy, no. Mindy would be Mindy would be a good I one. I mean, here. I've seen some weird stuff, but like one of the coolest things, I went into a house last year during the Parade of Homes and the owner had like a recreation of the IU I, I was in that locker too. room and it had the scoreboard that came down from the ceiling. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, that and is then cool. like a whole section of the basement was painted red and black. And he had different quotes on the wall. 
they had a, this huge home gym with the refrigerator and different snacks, all kinds of equipment. I mean, I had never seen anything like that. And then the basement walked out into this patio area that had an in-ground pool with fountains that just shot water like randomly. And there was a section that had swings where you could sit in this covered area and just swing hmm. over the pool and it overlooked hmm. the river. Wow. It was, And the garage <laughs> was probably seven car, I want to say, because it L-shaped. And it had a separate entrance for the teenagers to come in between the garage That's and the main what I'm house. Talking about. <laughs> yeah. That's what and I the needed. Door would open and it went straight upstairs. Huh? Yeah, it was pretty yeah. incredible. Yeah. yeah, you needed that. I did. I needed that. I don't... What four or five years ago? Right, just yeah. a few years <laughs> ago. I mean, not many. Yeah, yeah, I did. Now, Jordan, mine more has to do with, with some interesting people. I mean. Especially, well, the, how many interesting people have y'all met through this gig? I mean, oh, just, just hearing y'all's stories. It is I mean, all it's the amount, time. it is constant. The yeah. amount of interesting people y'all have interacted with is, oh, yeah, yeah, insanity. You have to be able to definitely, um, because we meet. It's very diverse. The different, different kinds of things people talk about and are into and say in front of us and yeah all kinds of people well like you were just saying last week with a woman who's throwing a temper tantrum yeah, in her yard yeah, uh -huh. and, then, and, and then i had to keep a straight face stories. i wanted yeah. to burst well, out laughing and i was like you can't do that 20 plus years ago mindy and i are go uh on a listening appointment lady called in chandler Oh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, we're looking. Seems uh -huh. like a lot of interesting stories come out of Chandler there area. Are, yeah. There yeah. are some, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Many of them, much like this one's going to wind up, okay? <laughs> yeah, and, probably and, true. Uh, and anyway, so we didn't know it, but there's there's a large backyard in the back. And there's now, and across the alley, the ex-husband lived there. And so <clears throat> he comes over. What are you doing here? Oh, I saw, so, you know, I, I didn't know who he was time and he said well she you know she calls about you know we're looking at the house you know we're, look, we're looking at the house and and he said what's well, my house and she and then they get in an argument you know and so he says look he doesn't get out of here i just bought a brand new car and uh, he said i'm gonna come out he said i'm gonna knock all the windows and windshield out of that car and i'm gonna come back and kill them you know and so we left <laughs> and uh, uh, didn't so, they call the police? You, well, yeah, I would so, assume yeah, so. They so, called the, I think so, they called the police. But many, but many, I went ahead and left. And uh, I think we were gone before the police got there. Yeah, we? I think so. And so, anyway, we're in the office, and here come a uh, month, two months, however long it was, and in walks these two sheriff's deputies that have got uh, a summons for us. Which people are going to think we've done something wrong. They said, we've got a summons for you. Know. And so uh, we, we get the summons. And then every, every month or two, it gets postponed. They do it again. Finally, I call the prosecutor's office. I said, look, people are, going to, are thinking me and Mindy are criminals, okay? So can you just, if you'll just call us, we'll come. You know, I mean, no problem. It was probably a year before they yeah. stopped coming. But no, but he said, <laughs> no, he said, we have, to, we have to come over there. So they came over ever so often and, you know. And uh, so, wow. so uh, how do y'all train people becoming agents to prepare for those kind of situations? Because there's so many. You can't. Random, you can't. No is it just yeah. a, a spur of the moment? Like how are you react? Yeah. Right. And, and you yes. only learn by going through it mm -hmm. because, yeah. because there's no way you could ever really um, train somebody in everything that's going to happen to them. Because so many random things happen. Right. Well, in so you many know, different like, situations yes. that you run into. Yes. And, and the thing is, stuff you see. we're like, Mindy and I can talk to each other or Charlie and I, we can tell each other stories. And the three of us who have had lots of different scenarios go down, even still, we'll tell a story and we're still shocked, but then we're also not shocked. <laughs> we're like, like, oh, yeah. well, I'm not surprised like, that, oh, that actually happened. Yeah. What? You had a baby pool full of kitty litter in the house she went into. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, that was a good one. True story, That's Jordan. a true story. That's a good one, too, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm assuming animals were using it and not... No. No. No, no. no animals. Go ahead, Mindy. So oh. there was a house that Charlie and I were listing um, back in... 
when American General was here, it was a foreclosure. And it was uh, one of the big three-story, like, historical houses that had, you know, they, it, every room was a different color, and the front was painted pink, and this is painted blue or whatever. We go to the third floor, which is just a big attic, and there's these gigantic kiddie pools full of cat litter. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and big industrial size garbage cans of adult movies of a certain variety. Mm-hmm. And we we're like, what is going on in here? <laughs> so so it wasn't a situation where like the toiletries didn't work or something? It was no. just no. it was just what no. they were into as consenting no. adults. Yes. I believe that certain yeah. activities may have occurred yes. in said cat litter. And, so, and, there's, a, there's a great TV show that used to be on called My Strange Addictions. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> that could yeah. there was, probably be there. There was a couple there. from Owensboro on that, actually. And uh, they, I don't even remember what their strange addiction was, but it was some couple. I think she was into uh, being a baby or something like okay. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh. perfectly encapsulated in Owensboro, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on that note, we, we need to pay, pay some bills. Uh, we probably don't have sponsors anymore after today. But, yeah. <laughs> but anyway... We, we want to be fair to him. Uh, the, uh, uh, as we mentioned earlier, David Crow at Churchill Mortgage. David couldn't be with us today, but he's usually here. And uh, so if uh, for, for your mortgage needs to get pre-approved, before you call us, call David, because David can, can let you know exactly what you can buy. And uh, if you're ready to buy now, or if there's things, that, if there's some credit repair that needs to be done, David's also very good at that. And call David. He's he works both in Indiana and Kentucky. He's the regional manager for Churchill Mortgage, and his number is two seven zero two 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 zero six seven six. And once you get once we do find you a house, we want to get it searched to make sure that uh, there are no liens or nothing to keep you from buying your dream home. So call it. We'll we'll get a hold of good folks at Bossy Title who are always. Uh, very, very helpful, and uh, um, so they've got, they, they just have an awesome staff there. They, they really, really do. do. I was they just do. in there on Friday, and yeah. it's always a good experience. It, yeah. it, it really They're is. They're great. Yeah, they are very, very professional. We kid around about Norm, and Norm is a bonus. I mean, he's Norm's a French bulldog, but they really do have an awesome staff in there. Yeah, and very knowledgeable. Yes. And they can handle anything that might go a little wonky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so. that's a good thing. And so call Bossy Title for all for any needs, any, anything you need searched on your home, 812-421-4000. So uh, where were we at, Jordan? You were asking a question. Oh, we were talking about cat litter. <laughs> we had that fun, interesting story about the right, I, kids' I, pool I, of I cat that. litter. That was, that was interesting. But, yeah, we were just talking about, like, how – how do how how can you even train new realtors for those kind of situations? Yeah, yeah. And y'all were saying, yeah, you, you can't really. You can't. But, I mean, like – some people are going to react so differently to certain situations oh, that yeah, you're like, definitely. And I'm sure some people can take a liability on on the realtors end, right? Because if they respond negatively to something, I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of backfall on you, wouldn't there? Well, I mean, we we carry Arizona Mission Insurance if we do something mistakenly wrong. Yeah, but as far as something like this. I mean, where you're walking in and you're seeing people thing, like that or weird stuff like that. Right. Yeah. The biggest thing is to make sure it's safety things. I mean, yeah. that's the biggest thing. And then, you know, to explain to people that you're going to meet all kinds of different people and, you know, try and keep your poker face on. Yeah. Jordan, back, do you remember when there used to be a homes magazine, you know, where you pick up mag, pick a magazine that had all, had all the homes in there? I, yes. I remember magazines, not the home magazine. Well, there, there, there was a... <laughs> There's a home. It's, Mario. It's, not, it's not funny, okay? Either one of you. It's, not, uh, it's hilarious. Because you, you both remember it, too. Yeah. And yeah, been, I was in it. You're, you both so, have been in it. So, yeah. uh, anyway, used to before the internet got so big, that's how people, you know, they were in the grocery store, they picked them up, everybody advertised them. So, we used to, Mindy used to get weird calls. Candace still gets weird calls. Um, uh, Jenny McBride, uh, p- people have been on the team. But we, it was, I, and I just explained to these guys, there's some guys, I know this sounds sick, but it's their porn. Mm-hmm. Because, interesting. Uh, yeah. yeah it's Very weird. interesting. Yeah. They would go, they would go in there and, and Mindy, ha- Mindy had a guy, guy, how many years did he call you? 
Oh, Mr. Dennis. Yes. Oh, probably ten. <laughs> he never. He. I mean, that's or maybe that's just what it seemed like. It might have been like three. Yeah. But it seemed like ten. Um. I, he said he wanted to buy a house. He never could get approved, but he still wanted to talk to me. And then there was the guy on the listing appointment. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah. Who was one. like a referral from somebody else, and I get to the house, and he didn't want me to list the house. He wanted me to come <laughs> with him into the back room, and I was like, "So are there are there nope. situations where y'all run into where you're like, I'm going to feel more comfortable if I like called like a sheriff over or, I, or a police I, officer? I yeah, yeah, absolutely. An Candace, on a house once. Candace, yeah. you were. I, I tried, tried to get, to get in, the me in the basement, and I tripped the home alarm on the house. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, and. So as soon as that went off, I was like, we better get outside because police are going to be here very soon. And, yeah. you know, I didn't act like I was scared. I was so scared. <laughs> so, yeah, then we <laughs> went outside. It was broad daylight, and I stood out there and waited for the police. I was like, see you later. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah that, was a, that was scary. An interesting experience. It was <laughs> very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just don't know. Like, I went to a house not too long ago, and the house was supposed to be vacant. I'm taking pictures. And there was a back patio, and I see, like, this figure, and I was like, what is going on? And so I go to open the door, and this homeless guy comes out, and he goes, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm real nice. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing here? He's like, well, a friend of mine said I could come over here and get some good stuff. I said, well, here's the thing. You're not supposed to be over here. I'm not trying to get you in trouble, but the owner of this house might call the police. So I'm just going to go in here and take some pictures. You should leave. <laughs> I mean, he was not even interested in me at all. He just wanted whatever he thought he could get out of the house. But there's stuff like that, too. You might walk into a house that think is empty and there's squatters in there. I, well, that happened to me. Well, that's me. what I was about to ask yeah. me. We've seen, I've seen so many videos floating around social media of squatters' rights and people squatting in these homes now. And it's this new big uprising, especially with... Well, there's actually, Jordan, no, there are actually people, and this is the bank's fault in many cases... The banks don't foreclose for years. Right. Yeah. And, you know, maybe they foreclose, but they just don't want to, they don't, they don't want to put it back on their books yet because it's a liability on their books. So, you know, the zombie homes. Yes. People will live there, what, three, four, five years. Oh, yeah. And not pay anything. You yeah. Know. It's kind of like we learned in, with COVID is like if people are not financially invested in their property, they're probably not going to take care of it. Mm -hmm. So all these homes post COVID... Um, have been in really bad shape, the ones that I've seen anyway. Yeah. And you know what we haven't done and we didn't do? Candace, how can they get a hold of you? They can reach me on my cell at 812-455-6338 or they can call our team phone. Which is? 812-430-1708. All right. Way yeah. to go, <laughs> Mindy, if... Uh, if you're facing foreclosure, if you've got kitty litter, you know, six feet deep in your house, how can they reach you? Or, hey, like, <laughs> you know somebody who knows somebody that has this house and they don't know what to do with it? Call me, 812-483-1309. And Mindy will, Mindy will figure it out. I'm not sure how she always does it, but she always does. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlie, uh, call me, Charlie Butler, uh, 812-499-7758. And remember, if... Uh, we can't sell your house. We'll buy it. And uh, Jordan, do you want to give your number out in case there's any ladies out there that are, are interested? Jordan's engaged. Yeah, yeah. Eight what? six seven five three zero nine. You can call me anytime, <laughs> anywhere. Actually, it's a funny. They're a little life hack for you. If you want to get uh, free gas station points, put that number in at a gas station, and you'll get the you'll get usually you'll get credit for it, like twenty cents off or whatever. Oh, that's a neat little yeah, life hack. little life hack for yeah. you right there. Oh, oh, okay. Interesting. Because, I mean, somebody's already set up an account, 867 oh, yeah. number. So, yeah. You're taking somebody else's points. Exactly. But. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fun little life. So, <laughs> Town Square Media now is supporting stealing people's points. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> I actually... The, the Charlie Butler Show disavows any knowledge of this. Okay. <laughs> right. We have nothing to do with no. this. No. Yeah. 8675309. Let me do that. <laughs> All right. I think we're about out of time, aren't we, Jordan? Okay. So for Mindy Woodward, Candice Jarman, Jordan Rose, this is Charlie Butler. Have a great Sunday.
You've got real estate questions but don't know where to get the answers? Tune in here every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. as Charlie Butler, Evansville's own real estate expert, shares the latest news, info, and insider tips to help you make smart real estate decisions. Find him online at charliebutlerteam.com. This program has been paid for by the Charlie Butler team. From the Kate Foppel Ford Studios, this is News Talk 1280 WGBF.